Hey, welcome back to the channel. I am really glad you're here because today I'm gonna to put the Woodland Mills WG24 stump grinder to work a little bit more. I've been doing some things off camera to get used to it, so now I'm ready to tackle some bigger projects. I've got a couple small stumps here to start with, and then I've got a giant stump up by the house. I'm gonna give it all it's got and see what we can do. Welcome to my cluttered garage. You know I'm really glad you're now this little guy is a bit loose. I've tried to pry it out with the stump bucket, but it's still pretty solid on one side. Not been too successful with it. It's grown right up against the concrete. So I'm just gonna see if I can cut as close as I can get. And then behind that, we've got this 12 inch holly tree stump that we cut down this summer. You can see there's some new growth coming up. So this one's still green, but we're gonna get rid of that guy too. Boy, the problem here is that this is so close to the pavers and I'm trying to back up as close as I can, but visibility again is terrible on this thing, so you just can't see. It would be helpful to have another person to guide me back, but so far I'm doing okay. Well, you really can't see what's going on behind you. So I was being extra cautious, obviously, so I wouldn't hit the pavers, but I, I got it. I mean, it, it worked out really well. I could go deeper with it, but I just don't need to. As long as I get it below the surface, got rid of the tripping hazard, and that just blends right in. Very nice. So. Let's get to this bigger stump, the 12 incher. It's out in the open. That one should work out really well.
If you saw my video where I assembled this wood stump, wood stump. If you saw my video where I assembled the stump grinder and used it for the first time, there was what I thought was a considerable amount of slip clutch slippage happening. Uh, I was thinking that maybe I'd have to tighten it up, but instead I just, I used it some more and I think it was kind of just wearing in, you know, like a new set of brake pads. Sometimes they don't feel as good at first, but after you run them for a little while, they set in. So I didn't adjust the slip clutch and I feel like on this stump, there was a lot less slippage. So I'm going to leave it where it is and see how things go. If it does continue to slip or if it slips more, I'll adjust it. But right now it seems like it's at the right place. So that did not take very long. Again, I ground it just below the surface, maybe three or four inches below the surface. And now that stump is gone. And I gotta say, I'm loving this. So Woodland Mills claims that you can grind a stump up to six inches deep, but it doesn't say how big it can be. This stump measures about three and a half feet across at the widest place. So I think if I take my time, I should be able to grind this stump. Well, this one could take some time, but if I start on the end and work my way across inch by inch, there's no reason I can't do it, really. And I was quoted $200 to grind this stump. Granted, they could probably do it faster and maybe deeper, but as long as I get it below the surface and can put some topsoil over it, I think I'll be happy with that. So I am um, gonna put it to the test. You know, I, I don't think that I abuse my equipment, but I do use it and maybe I expect a lot from it. I'm expecting that B2601 with the stump grinder to be able to take care of this tree stump. So there are a couple of challenges here that I've been facing. One is the fact that this tree stump is up on a mound. And what that means is the nose of the tractor is pointed down. So that means I'm not able to drop the three point as low as I'd like to. So with the front of the tractor down, even with the three point dropped all the way down, it's just barely at ground level. So that's been tough. It's in a tight spot here, so I can't get all the way around it. I can't hit it from all sides. So just able to hit it from two or three angles here, which is kind of working out all right. Uh, it's definitely a giant stump. So you can see that chipper kind of dances around. If you are trying to take too big of a bite, uh, you have to really just work it from the end over. Uh, another thing is when estimating the size of your stump, you need to add a foot or more to it. Like this three foot stump just below the surface is five or six feet. So there's a lot more under there than you realize. So that's important to, uh, well, just to keep in mind. At one point, I found that uh, my wheels were spinning and I didn't understand why. I was pulling forward, my wheels were spinning. Turned out that because I had been turned around and looking over my right shoulder, my knee hit the uh, three point or the front end loader control and I dropped my forks into the ground. So my forks were pointed down and digging into the ground and the tractor wouldn't move forward. So uh, I guess keep an eye on that as well. But otherwise it's doing it. Uh, I think the 
$200 quote to have this done is definitely a fair quote. Um, you know, it might sound like a lot initially, but this is a lot of work. And if they were able to do it with a bigger machine in less time, then more power to them. But so far, I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm almost there. I'm not gonna get too far below the surface again because being on the mound, I can't drop it as low as I'd want to. But even if it's just below the surface, that's great because that was taking up a lot of space here. And yeah, I think, I think this is great. I'm really happy with this. I do notice that the tractor's bogging down some, which to me means the clutch is not slipping as much as it was. So that's probably a good thing. I can hear it slip once in a while. I'm sure we see it on the video, but it's doing pretty well. And you know, it's just one of those things I got to take it slow and uh, I may not be being as patient as I should be, but uh, I'll keep going as slow as I can. I think we're good. I think we're as done as we're going to get with that. Just rake this out and like they say on the cereal box, some settling may occur. So I'll have to come back probably and maybe backfill this a little bit more or scrape it in as time goes on. But as of now, I'm really happy. There's no more big stump to walk around or trip over and it looks great. That is really amazing what you can do with a little tractor and the right equipment for the job. Well, thanks for watching today. I appreciate you being here. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed to the channel, I invite you to join us. Thanks for spending some time with me and I look forward to seeing you next time.